guys. Okay. Hey, it's Ashley here, and I am going to do a video on wick checks because I have had a couple people ask me, and a couple people I know personally that ask me how to do wick checks, how to, um, sorry, my phone just got a text message and I saw it. Um, how to do wick checks, how to read and know what to get with wig checks and how to get like spend your wig checks um I'm gonna try I already made this video and it was too long for my stupid phone to process so I'm gonna try to make this a shorter video um and go as fast as I can so if I'm going a little too fast or skip something um or I don't say anything that or I say something that I forget to say something that you want to know let me know please so yeah so here I go so your wig checks will come in an envelope like this. Everything, by the way, all these sticky notes are not going to be on your wick checks. I just have them on mine because all my information and last name and IDs and stuff are on here. So the wick check itself. Sorry, I had a brain fart. The wick check itself comes in a thing like this, and I'm in front of my window, so there's a little bit of weird glare. But it comes in a little envelope, a little baggie, and you pull this out like this. So it's like this. Um. This, it'll tell you your wick checks up there, and it'll normally have your state right here. Um, and then it'll give you information about your wick checks, and then down here, you'll do this all at the office when you apply for wick checks. Um, and uh, your, you'll have your name, like the name of the user, um, your signature, um, and what is it called? An alternate signature to show identification so for some reason say <coughs> I was sick or something um, I could have my mom who is my alternate signature and my dad who is my alternate signature but really my mom just uses it because my dad doesn't live with us anymore um, and normally you only get one alternate signature so normally I go um, but if for some reason I can't my parents because they're ooh, because their alternate signatures are on here, they are allowed to go. And when you go in, you'll realize um, on your checks, the reason they have those signatures on the front is because every time you go shopping, you have to bring your envelope because that's how they verify that you're using your checks, like they're yours, um, by your signature. So, um, and then it'll have you down here and your baby's name. Um, and then down here at the very bottom, It'll have your family number, and you'll get a certain um, ID number for your family. So, that's the front. When you open it up, you have three individual pockets. And your checks, these are what checks look like. Your checks will come three months at a time. So, you will have, and it, um, we'll show you on there. It has uh, checks for month one, checks for month two, and checks for month three. Which means you will only have... Um, an appointment for WIC every about three months, except for when you very first start out, you, um, have a lot of appointments, or when you have your baby, you start having a lot of, of appointments. You have one, like, every two weeks for, like, a month or two months or something. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad, though. I definitely love it, and, um, you, they get down to the nitty-gritty, though, like, the ounces you can get, the formula you can get, the amount you can get, the brand you can get, like, it's very nitty-gritty. And specific but it helps so much I promise you so this is what your checks look like I ha I get four checks a month um, I do not breastfeed so I do not get food I'm not pregnant so I do not get food I get food for my daughter and that's it um, so I get two formula checks a month. I get seven cans total this one I just went wick shopping last night so I only have two right now this one for example has three infamil gentilies 12.4 ounce uh, of powder, the powder formula. So, and my other one is four. So you do this, you will give your checks, you will go shopping for all your stuff, get your, give your checks to the cashier before they start scanning your stuff, and they'll put it all through, because they have to check it to make sure it all matches WIC and stuff. So they'll check it, put it all through, and they'll have you sign on this sign down here, and this signature has to match one of these two or three signatures down here. You cannot have your friend or somebody else go in there. You have to have your signature or one of your alternate signatures. So I get a formula check and I get 
a food check. So this one, these are all for my daughter, remember, and this one is one box of plain infant cereal, eight ounces. Um, Fourteen jars of baby food, fruit or vegetables, four ounces. One pound of fruit, fresh bananas. Um, so that's what I get all for my daughter. Um, and it, you have certain brands you can get, certain things you can, cannot get. Mostly you cannot get or Okay, guys, sorry, I forgot to stick in on something. So, okay, you will get, a, and no matter what you do, you will get an envelope that looks like this. Um, you're pregnant, breastfeeding, formula feeding, everything is in here that you need to know. Um, these, as you can tell, are the allowable foods for your weight checks. Um, like I said, it's very, very picky. Um, I won't read everything to you, but I'll kind of explain to you how to, how to read it, because at first it took me like four hours to chop for like four things the very first time I went with chopping. So, <clears throat> this is like a little brochure, a little pamphlet. It opens up in like various ways. So, there's a lot of information in here. And when you first open it up, you'll open it and you'll see fruits and vegetables on the side. Open it to the full page. You have fruits and vegetables, which must be fresh or frozen. You cannot get canned. You cannot get um, them like in something like already made. Like they must be fresh or frozen vegetables. Um, and right here, so it'll have the title up here, like what you're looking at. Um, it'll have the amount that you're allowed to get, and um, which is normally specified on your weight checks. The size that you are allowed to get, which is sometimes specified on your weight checks. And um, the brand you are allowed to get. Um, a lot of them, especially like fruits, vegetables, stuff like that, they say any brand. Um, but some stuff like cereals, juices, um formula, stuff like that, is a specific brand. So, I will show you those. Um, so, right here, so that's your amount, your size, your brand, uh, your category. This tells you what you cannot buy, um, things you cannot purchase, if you want to take a quick look at that, kind of stuff like that. A lot of them will just say, like, organic or added um, calcium or added meat, added stuff like that. So, you can't get that, and then it'll have a okay to buy list, and then and a couple pages on here, it has um, just little helpers, like how many pounds, you know, for how much of what. And it's a, like little shopping tips. So, yeah. So, um, first page, you have your fruits and your vegetables. And then following that page on the same opening, I guess, same page, um, you have your milk. Again, with all the information, what you can't buy, what you can buy, amount, size, and brand. Um cheese, uh, tofu, and soy beverages. You don't always get all of this. I will let you guys know as we go along what I have got and what I get now. So, um, fruits and vegetables when I was pregnant and when I was breastfeeding, milk when I was pregnant and breastfeeding, and cheese when I was pregnant and breastfeeding. Um, breakfast cereals, you get these when you're pregnant and breastfeeding. These are all the brands you can get, and they have cold cereals that you add milk to, and then cold or hot cereals that you add milk or water to and heat up, so like oatmeal and stuff. Um, these are the brands you can get. These are the only brands allowed, and they get really picky, so like here over here, I get Honey Bunches of Oats, because I love Honey Bunches of Oats. You can only get the Honey Bunches of Oats with almonds and honey uh, roasted. So you can't get like the strawberry or the blueberry. You have to get what it says on here and only these are accepted. Only these. Um, yeah. And then down here, this is like my favorite shopping tip. You, most, most people will get 36 ounces of breakfast cereals. And right down here, it shows you different ways you can combine multiple boxes. So you don't just get one box. You have like two 18 ounces, you know. Um, a 14 and a 22, a 24 and a 12, an 18 and a 9 and a 9 or three twelves. So it like shows you it gives you a little help like you know how to make thirty six ounces with multiple like a variety of your breakfast cereal. You will get that when you are pregnant breastfeeding. I'm not sure about toddlers and beyond because I'm not there yet. So I'm just gonna let you know what I know from experience. Um, and then on the page following you have whole grains, which is your breads, um, your brown rice, which I have not gotten but I've gotten bread, um, and your corn tortillas. Um, with bread, you can get literally anything on the market as long as it's specified in the brand below, except for deli and organic. So, like, 
Um, these are all the brands, different brands on it. Like these bold titles, all different brands. And literally you can get everything except for deli and organic. As long as it follows these brands. So, I normally get the Wonder bread. Um, and then after that, it's juice. 100% juice. And you have options. So when your child is an infant, you will get 12, normally 2 12 ounce frozen cans. Um, or 46 metal cans. Like the ones frozen in the metal cans. Um, and these give you the brands that you can get. Orange juice and, and grape juice, grapefruit juice are the only ones that you do not need a specified brand for. Everything else is specified by brand. Um, with everything. So... Yeah, so that's 100% juice in the metal can and eggs. What's wrong, baby? Come here. She's crying. Sorry, but she's fussing. Um, so 100% juice and four or 64 can ounce containers. So these you'll get when your tod when your babies are toddlers. So past one, I think. So these are the juices you can get. And again, grape juice or grapefruit and orange are the only ones not specified. And then under that you have dry beans, peas, and lentils. And you get to choose dry beans, peas and lentils, or canned beans. I chose canned beans because I don't know how to cook the other ones. And then you have your canned beans. Um, on the back of that you have peanut butter. And I trust you, or trust me, y'all will have peanut butter coming out your butt for the next freaking year. I mean, peanut butter, they give you peanut butter like crazy, especially if you're breastfeeding or pregnant. Yeah. Um, I got, um, peanut butter and beans, which I didn't mention so far, and juice, obviously. Hi, baby. And then you get canned fish, which I've never gotten, baby food and fruits or vegetables, which I get right now, um, and baby food meats, which I have never gotten, and I don't know why I haven't gotten these, because my daughter's almost a year old, and she's not really eating baby food anymore, so I'm not sure why I've never gotten these, and I'm not sure if you actually do. What, baby? Baby, go listen to her. Okay, sorry. I'm going to make this fast because she's getting fussy. Um, they definitely will help you out with breastfeeding. And they're very steady on breastfeeding. So, yeah. Then you have infant cereals. You can get those kinds and those brands. That's it. Um, I had a fresh banana because once your baby turns six or eight months, you get six ounces of, or a pound of fresh bananas. And then your infant formula, which goes by, um... <clears throat> You only get the kind of formula, like the brand of formula, that Wick is holding. So, if you have, if your baby drinks Similac, right now Wick is holding Infamil. Um, they will not give you Similac. They will give you only Infamil or only the brand that they are currently carrying. Which currently right now is Infamil. So, um, I get Infamil Gentleys and it will specify that on your checks. So, the last thing that you get... Is this, when you open it up, and this is on the last flap right here, tells you the date, time, and notes, what you should bring to your next appointment. Um, for example, on May, or March 12th at 8.45 a.m., I had to bring my wick envelope. Um, 5-3, which is May 3rd, I had to bring, after McKayla was born, I had to be there at 1.45 and bring baby, hospital band, address, income, and wick envelope, you know, and so it just keeps going, so, um, uh, and they work with you, because I've forgotten my envelope many times, that's why my list stops at October, so, I've forgotten it many times, they help you out, but try to remember everything you come with, um, it just makes the process much easier, and so yeah, if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know, I'm gonna get going here, because someone is getting fussy back there. So, yeah, any questions or anything, message me or comment. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.